it's Mrs. Gilling here, and I'm going to be your U.S. criminal justice teacher this quarter. Super excited about it. Before I let you know a little bit about the course and what you have to expect, I wanted to let you know a little bit about myself. So here's three pictures that really represent me. So first of all, this is my family. I have three girls and a little boy, and then we have another baby on the way here soon. So maybe you'll see some pictures of them throughout the year. And then there's my husband, Ethan. Another cool thing about us is we own a construction company. I'm not super handy. I'm not the one that does the work Ethan is. So I'm a good teacher though. So we got that going, but it is fun for us to kind of do that together as a family and to, to wear the matching sweaters. That's what it's all about. And the coolest thing about me is I graduated from BYU with my degree in teaching social sciences. So I teach all the sorts of social studies courses and I'm a huge BYU football fan. Go Cougs! So during football season, if you're a football fan, we'll have lots to talk about. And if not, that's okay. You can adopt my team if you don't have one. All right, that's enough about me. Let's talk about your course here for a little bit. So this course is a four-unit course, and it has 20 lessons in it. And these are the different assignment types that, that you will have. So first of all, there's checkpoints, and these are where 25% of your grade they're found at the end of about half the lessons. They help you review what you just studied to make sure you understand. And you get three attempts on them. So if you take it the first time and you only get, you know, 50, 60 percent, don't stop there. Like go back, review and then take it again. If you still get the score you want, take it again. And honestly, even though it only gives you three attempts, if for some reason you really didn't get the score you want and you want another one, reach out to me. We'll chat about it for a minute and then I'll give you another attempt. There's also discussions, and these are worth 25% of your grade. So there's nine discussion prompts in the course that give you a chance to write about things you are learning about in the course. I've made a video at the beginning of each discussion prompt to help you know how to complete that prompt. So it'll let you know exactly what I'm expecting from it, and it'll let you know how many points each part of that is worth. So I really encourage you to watch those videos first and then complete those discussion prompts. I will allow you to redo discussions. So you know, review the feedback I left you, make changes, resubmit, and we can definitely grade those again for you. There's also focused notes assignments in this class. There's four of them, so not a whole lot. They're found in lessons two, nine, 14, and 20. And these focused notes assignments, they're there to help you with something called enrichment lessons. So basically in those lessons, what you do is you, you'll have a certain topic where you're going to go research on your own. You're going to answer a few questions about what you learned in your research and kind of how it applies to your life. And then that's it. It's not super complicated of an assignment, but they do help you to kind of process the information there. And I'll same thing with my other assignments. You're welcome to have multiple attempts on those if you need them, but they are uh, a very helpful assignment. Then there's projects. So there are two projects in the course that help you demonstrate a deeper understanding of concepts you're learning about. The first project is lesson five, and the second one is in lesson 15. And I want you to be very successful on these projects. So I have some video instruction that I'll provide beforehand that will go over all the requirements, what's expected of you. I'll have a rubric there so you know exactly how you're going to be graded. And so you can do just an awesome job on those. And just like everything else, you're welcome to submit them, look at my feedback, make changes, and resubmit for a higher score if you need. And then I kind of talked about video assignments for a minute. They're worth 10%. But these are the instructional videos I make to help you do well on you know, projects, on focus notes assignments. They just let you know expectations. I really want you to watch them, so I pay you in points. I give you 10%, honestly, just for watching these videos and then answering short quiz questions after. And you have an unlimited number of attempts on those quiz questions to get it right. So this is definitely an area where want to get a hundred percent. So how can you reach me? You can call me at the top of your course. There's a contact announcement. You can click on that. It's got my phone number. It's got my email. It's got my live office hour. Everything you need should be right there. So feel free to call me, text me, send me an email. A Google chat message is probably my preferred method. If you go into your Gmail, your school Gmail account, there's like a chat bar on the side. You put in my name, Susan Gilling, it'll pop up and you just send me a message right there. It's it's like instantaneous. It's awesome. So Google Chat's a great way. I have a live office hour on Tuesdays from 8.15 to 9.15 in the morning. And the link to that's in my contact announcement. You're welcome to come there for some one-on-one -on -one help. If that time doesn't work for you and you need help, we can always arrange something else as well. And then carrier pigeons. Okay, maybe not that one. But if you if a note showed up from one of you with one, I'd, I'd look at it. So what you got to do now is you're going to complete your first video assignment. So I want you to send me a Google chat message with your preferred name. So for instance, if your name is Jimmy, but you go by Jim, 
let me know that because uh, sometimes in the system, it'll have the name you go by, but then another name like somewhere else. And so I just, I just want to know what, what name you want to go by in the course. And then let me know your favorite hobby. What do you do for fun? You, you've got lots of them. Just pick one that you really like. And then you'll complete your first video assignment quiz after this. It's just a couple of short questions. I'm sure you'll do awesome on it. All right. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. But other than that, good luck in the course, you guys.